Brad, I have a pretty specific question for you. So Al was talking about autonomy and uh, you know the the way that the future is going to work with robots and everything else. So uh, we already know that you know people are uh, able to stake, for example, uh, their tokens if it's the case for a decentralized protocol, and they would earn some of the fees that the protocol earns. So my question to you is, do you think that in the future, if everything becomes automated and machines work much more than humans, uh, that this form of staking could become some sort of uh, a universal basic income for the people that actually do this? That's, that's an interesting question. Um, for, for a universal income to work, we, we need to define it first. I mean, the term is thrown out there all the time, people talk about it, but what is universal income? What does it need to um, cover as far as one's expenses go? And obviously, we all have different expenses in life, daily or monthly or yearly. So when you're talking about universal income and um, tokens and staking, you're talking about a global level of uh, economic activity to support a global universal income. If there were to be enough um, wallets, token holders, and parties involved with it, it doesn't have to be everyone. We don't need to create um, digital accounts for the whole world population. I, I, I know the math is somewhere between half and two thirds, but if that many people were involved and we um, used robotics for most of the work, because right now robots do in certain industrial applications much more than humans, and they have been for the past 40 years. So that's nothing new when you say in the future robots were, may do more work than humans. That's actually in, incorrect because robots today, simple robots for simple tasks, do a lot more than humans. So cumulatively, if you look at economies, you may find economies where robots are um, performing more work than humans, which is great because those are the types of work that they're good at and we're not, and we're optimizing the workforce. Um, but going back to the universal income question, I think if enough people participated and there was enough economic activity, why not? It's doable. It's a, it's a great future. I mean, um, a couple of years ago, I was at World Economic Forum and, and talked about how at that time, at that day, we had enough economic activity in the world to give everyone universal income. I didn't think about tokens or tokenization or staking or anything like that. I was just thinking, okay, this is the global activity this year. This is how many people we have. And on average, their um, needs, monthly needs are so low that we can create something that meets that. Is that a positive thing? Is, would that stimulate people? I don't know. We haven't done that experiment. There are countries that, um, provide a basic income, and their workforce seems to, seems to do fine. And then you look at California, where uh, I spend most of my time, and you know people receive their unemployment checks, and instead of being productive, they go to the beach. Instead of starting businesses like uh, our, our friend here, you know, they waste the time and create traffic during COVID time. So again, it's a social experiment that I'd be very interested in seeing. Is it doable? Yes. Will that build a better future for us? I don't know. I have to throw something in. So we already have universal basic income. In Silicon Valley, they throw trillions of dollars after companies, and only 5% of those companies make it. So they already know 95% of those companies are going to fail, but that, those failures, they stimulate the economy. That's literally free money out there, but nobody really thinks about it like that. Uh, but it's just given to a privileged few that went to uh, Stanford or Harvard. So it, it works on a certain level. Um, and even the losers, they create uh, economic activity. So I, I loved what you were saying, because in, in the case of a decentralized protocol, um, everyone is treated the same, right? It doesn't matter if you're a human or a robot. If you go and complete a task, for example, you have to pay the fee, right? So in that case, if we have you know, just robots working, let's assume the worst, like there's only robots working, they're all going to pay those fees, and those fees can then be used to generate the basic income for people. Whereas right now, most of the robots that actually automate a lot of the stuff, they don't pay any fees. 
you know, because they have to go through various mechanisms and structures, and so they can just skip them. But with a the protocol, it doesn't make a differentiation, you know.